How long does it take for the pothos to grow? This was a question that I was constantly asking myself when I was a new plant parent and I was extremely impatient for my pothos to grow fast. But what I found really helpful during these times was actually watching time-lapse videos or timeline videos that really showed the progression of growth over time. So I'm going to try to replicate that in today's video, starting off with a pothos cutting that I've taken from one of my previous pothos propagations. Now that we have this piece, you just want to look for the area in which the leaf meets the stem and this is called the node area. You will see that it's very easy to distinguish on a pothos because it has a lot of these aerial roots or just these small little bumps. And then what I'm going to do is simply take my scissors and cut in between those area. So for the last one, I won't cut off these two since it's just a small node like that and then you will have a few pieces like this and that is what I will be placing into water. And I actually took a few more cuttings off camera from the same pothos plant. So I'm just going to put all of these into the same glass of water and then I will update you guys in a few days on how it is growing. It is now day two and there's really no new root growth or anything to this pothos plant so I won't be going over it too much but what I've done is I've actually taken some cuttings from my variegated pothos plant and put it into water. So I want to check how fast this guy will grow. It does have some aerial roots that are sticking out already and then I'm just going to place this into water. This is no special type of water at all, uh, just regular tap water. This one was like the end cutting and you can see that it does have a leaf that is unfurling a little bit and I want to see if this variegated one grows a little bit faster or a little slower as compared to the all green variety. It is now day three and I really don't see any changes yet in root growth. Maybe we'll have to wait a few more days to actually see anything happening. This one actually looked like it browned quite a bit. So I don't know if I exposed it to too much air, but I will try making sure that it is submerged more in water. Day 6 of our pothos propagation and some new roots are actually starting to form quite nicely on this all green pothos. For the one that has the variegation, there is a little tiny piece or a little tiny white point but not much difference. The water actually looks like it has gone down quite a bit so I'm going to top this up with a little bit of water and I'll also take the opportunity to throw out some of the water or just throw out and clean up the jar today. day 15 around two weeks after we first started this propagation and both of the plants look really really healthy the original leaf that was set to bloom has already unfurled as well so that's this one this one right here and the roots of this golden pothos looks really really healthy so very happy with that it has like very nice set of roots I'm just going to leave it in there i might change out the water maybe in a few more days it still looks pretty clear to me so no need to change the water just yet the green pothos looks like it's doing extremely well it does have some new baby leaves and you'll notice that whenever there are new leaves that come into bloom they're usually a bit smaller especially if you have just propagated the house plant but that's okay because at least it is still showing new root growth, I mean new leaf, leaf growth. Yeah, anyways, uh, let's take a look at the roots. The roots are really, really nice and healthy. They are getting kind of long. And at this point, if you do want to place it into soil, you can. But I am just going to continue to grow these in water for a little bit longer. 
By the way, I just noticed that there are new leaves forming as well and you can see that they usually form right here by the node area. So I do have a few leaves forming on some of these nodes and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like. So you can see right there and yep, very, very happy that this plant is growing really, really healthy. Today the water level has gone down quite a bit so I've got to refill that and I will just clean up this pot. It looks a little bit dirty already here. So I'm going to put in new water. The roots are growing quite nicely. I can see also some new leaf growth right there. Let me just try to give a upper oops a close-up view of that. So I do see some new leaves coming out. And then this one really has grown quite a number of roots already and this is just plain tap water so i'm not giving it any sort of nutrients but i'm thinking after or maybe in a few days i will decide to give this a little bit more nutrients just to help it grow and i think the roots are stable enough at this point that i can start to give the plant a little bit of nutrients Okay, so today is I think just over a month right now and you can see these are really really healthy. It's doing extremely well. Yeah, let me just show you guys the root system. You will see that the older roots are turning a little bit brown and that is okay. They're still healthy. Also when the roots touch the air, like for instance, if they climb up a little bit higher than the water level, they will tend to turn brown and that's just because once the oxygen hits the roots or if it gets a little too much oxygen, it will burn the roots and that's okay because then the plant will start developing new roots elsewhere. So that's a sample example of this right here. For this one, I am unsure exactly what happened but um, I can see right away that one of the leaves just started to rot so I'm going to remove that. Uh, this looks really bad. So this one right here, it looks pretty healthy still but that node right there is completely rotting out. Oops. So I'm just going to cut it off completely and remove that. Yeah, I just want to keep anything that is rotting or doesn't look uh, really in tip-top condition. I think there's something right here as well. And you just want to remove those just so that uh, it doesn't affect any of the other roots. So now I have a leaf with just, I, I mean a plant with just three, four, four leaves still. And I'm not so sure what happened. I think because I left it for so long, this guy kind of stopped developing as well. So I might just wash it up, change the water a bit, and then uh, yeah, just put it back into water again. And let's see what happens. So this was the leaf that molded. Yeah, and you can see that white stuff. I don't know if it's some fungus or something like that but yeah, I don't even want to touch it. Uh, so anything that you see something like this or you see black mushy stuff, you really need to cut it off right away and just take it away from the rest of your plant. Guys, this plant seems to have a disease and I'm thinking of just getting rid of it. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's molding right there and this leaf has already started to brown. Also, you can see that on the root structure right here, there is a little bit of white dots. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be cautious and throw them out. Actually, this one does sort of look okay. Wait, maybe I can keep that one. But yeah, this one definitely will need to go. So I guess that is the end of this guy. So let's check on this one yeah this one is the one with the really really bad 
I don't even know what's happening. So I will be cutting that off completely or maybe just throwing this out because I don't want it to affect my other plants. And the moment that you do see something with a disease, you have to treat it, oops, right away. So um, I'm gonna do something about that. And then let's check on this one. This one actually seems okay. So it's really just this one that I will need to get rid of and throw out. You can see some white growing on it. And these sort of things are airborne. They spread really fast. So you want to get it away from your other plants and just isolate this one right away. And yeah, burn or throw anything out that is doesn't look really so good. So anyways, um, I think this will be the last part of this guy and but I will keep you guys updated on the other pothos which is the green one and how it has been growing. So I went to get a fresh glass of water and then I just changed the jar. What I'll try to do is save these three. I just washed them off because these have really nice variegations and yeah I don't want to start growing them all over again. Anyways, I took off any spot that was like white or moldy. The other one I just threw out completely and then I cut off the mold from one of these stems and yeah, I just really washed it very, very well. So everything is gone for now. And what I'm gonna do is get some of this, add like a drop of hydrogen peroxide into that. This is already a solution that is diluted and just want to add very very little which will help with uh, disinfecting and then also adding some oxygen into the water so I'm gonna go ahead and add these back in and then check on it for the next few days that uh, they are okay and growing so this is the all green variety and I think because the two were sitting quite near each other i also see that um, it is molding underneath here so i will have to cut off some of that and yeah oops it's really really bad oh gross that's disgusting so i might throw out a lot of these stems and the green variety is so easy to grow anyways so I might just throw out all of this and yeah, start all over again. You guys can see that mold right there. But if this does happen to you, what you can do is just cut off uh, some of the mold. And if you do want to try to save the plant, you can use hydrogen peroxide into the water and that should help a little bit. But in this case, uh, yeah, I just want to isolate some of these and then throw out the other ones. So wait, let's just do this right now. I didn't realize that I stuffed so many leaves. This one looks pretty healthy. You can see that it is growing lateral roots already. And this oh, but I will need to wash off the mold. Ew. So it is growing a bit of mold on there. So I will have to cut that off as well. And yeah, I think this is because it's not getting also enough air circulation. And um, it's just because I've got such a crowded place with all of my plants and you, or I should have put an electric fan nearer to them so that they do get a bit more air circulation. So for this one, I decided to just submerge all of the leaves in soapy water and that'll just help get rid of any of the bacteria. You don't want to do this for too long of course but yeah just about five minutes would do and uh, it is easy since i'm not dealing with any soil right now and i just want to get rid of yeah any maybe bacteria and any of the bugs if there are like mites or whatever that are biting on this it will die with soapy water so that's just really really fast technique and hopefully these guys will be okay in the coming weeks. The roots are looking a lot healthier today. I think the hydrogen peroxide worked really, really well. And then what I did is I actually divided this into two jars. So this was the original plant that was all just in one jar. But I was looking at the footage yesterday of like when I started this plant and I realized that it has grown out quite a bit. It's also like shot out all of these new leaves. 
so you can see one here this is also a new leaf and then you can see some more shooting out quite a bit so yeah this is a very healthy plant and what I wanted to do is actually combine the two today into a larger pot so I have with me a container and then I also have a net pot with me and then I will be repotting it into Leica or Leca, however you want to pronounce it. And these are just clay pebbles. So instead of using soil, I prefer to use Leca. It's just a lot less messy and it's just easier to manage, especially for indoor houseplants where you don't like want to attract bugs or anything. This is an inert inert material. I will try to link where you can buy this from in the description down below. So if you are interested in getting some of this for your own house plants, uh, I will go ahead and link that. And also the nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about a watering schedule as well because you can just put a water reservoir at the bottom and the plant will just take up the the water as needed. The only thing that you will have to do with this is add a little bit of nutrients which for pothos they're not very heavy feeders so you don't have to put in fertilizer too often uh, maybe just like once every three months or so but I haven't actually fertilized these guys anyways. This one is the variegated version and it is doing okay also. I did unfortunately lose most of the leaves due to mold but I do think that the hydrogen peroxide worked really well to stop the mold from growing. There is just that one new leaf that is growing in here. Oops, let me take that out for you guys. So you can see the root system. And ever since I repotted it, which was like a day, a day and a half ago, you can see that there are a lot of new smaller roots growing again and they are white in color. So very healthy and I hope that this guy will be able to shoot out more leaves. But for now, I will just leave him in water since the only leaf that is left growing is this one right now. And I just wanted to get more leaves before I decide to repot this into a larger container. So let me just put that back in here first. Okay, so I am going to repot these ones right now into this container right here. And then what I have is a pot without a hole. This doesn't have any holes at the bottom. And then I have an inner container, which is this net pot right here. Let me just... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill up this container with a little bit of Leica. And this is actually already pre-washed. So you do want to wash your Leica a little bit so that all of the dirt falls off and you can and go ahead and use dishwashing detergent or put in a little bit of hydrogen peroxide as well. So this is already a little bit damp but I will be putting in a little bit more water later on and I'm just gonna fill it up a little bit like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and place these into the container. Okay, so the roots are, the stems are going to be a little bit wobbly, especially when you don't have any, any substance to hold them in place. But anyways, just try to do your best. What I do usually is I just hold it right here like that before placing in all of the Leica balls. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in also to the side right here. And don't worry too much about how the plant looks like it's going to grow out anyways in the future so you're going to see that all of the stems are growing in different directions anyways so yeah even if you try to place them in a very very nice sort of uh, very aesthetically pleasing manner it's just going to grow out anyways so don't have to worry too much about how um, the current plant looks but you do want to make sure that all of the roots are inside the container so I'm just making sure that all of the roots are down okay so that's how it looks once it's done and I'm gonna go ahead and place it back into here and then what I'm gonna do is just put in a little bit of water and yeah see how that goes so the reason why I want a container like this is because I can lift this easily 
and then I can see the water level on the inside. So that just really helps me when I want to wash out this container as well. And yeah, that's the reason why I want a net pot, but you don't necessarily need to have a net pot in all situations. Like I said, you can also go ahead and just plant it directly into a container like this. It's been a couple of days already and I just want to update you guys on the root growth and everything. I think it is doing extremely well. So this is the variegated pothos and he has a lot of really really nice root system. I also noticed that it is growing a new leaf right here. So very happy that it was able to survive getting all of that mold and everything. So that is how the root system is looking and I am very very happy that I see a lot of new white root growth. You can see that it is actually quite dense so I think that these guys are going to be okay. This is the leaf that I was talking about right on the other side of this. This one is just the regular green pothos and I wanted to show you guys how the roots are looking underneath this net pot. So it has quite a nice root system already they're poking out through the holes of the net pot and this is perfectly fine so you'll see a lot of the roots will grow downwards so that is really nice because even if you don't have like a string or something to draw up the water the roots will do that for you once this gets to be a little bit more of a mature plant and the leaves are looking very healthy. I know it didn't look so good when we replanted it because it was kind of wobbly and everything, but now it is all standing straight because I gave it really, really good sunlight. And yeah, so overall, I would say that this is a very, very healthy plant. So I'm just gonna leave it back into here. Oops, let me just get the light off from there. If you guys wanna take a look at the water level, it's about halfway up. And uh, this is okay because the plant anyway is a water plant or basically like we grew it from water. So all of the roots that have developed are water roots. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it back in there and yeah, just leave it in a bright indirect sunlight area so that it can grow a little bit more. Okay guys, so that is it on how long it takes to grow the pothos plant. I do hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in more propagation videos, I will go ahead and link my Monstera Deliciosa propagation to the side right here so you can watch that next. Or if you are interested in other water plants that can be propagated or other plants that can be propagated using the water method, I will go ahead and link that one right here. Anyways guys, please do take care and I will see all of you in a future video. Bye-bye.